Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Kingdom Gaming. We're meeting for the first time. Hello there. Have you ever thought to yourself, designing thumbnails suck? Well, if that's you, here's a free template. So first things first, head on over to the description of this video. You're gonna see a link which is going to take you to my Discord channel. Inside my Discord channel, head over to the hashtag free stuff and there you can pretty much grab this Photoshop file. It is completely customizable. You can chop it, you can change it, you can weave it into whatever majestic creation you want to make. Once you've downloaded the file, you're going to double click on it and open it up with Photoshop and there you're going to be greeted with hello there. Because what's up fam? So the first thing I want to run through is the background and I want to do these as quickly as possible so that I don't take up your valuable time. So in here, you're going to find the backgrounds. Usually what I do is I'll grab my thumbnail and I'll bring it in here and I'll add a blur to it and a smart filter. So if I were to disable the blur, that's what it looks like. If I was to disable the smart filter, that's what it looked like. So you can essentially just drag these onto your thumbnail background. But before you actually put on the Gaussian blur, make sure to cut yourself out and that is essentially who this person is yeah so if you were to cut yourself out like okay <laughs> so you cut yourself out and then you add the gaussian blur to yourself so that's pretty much the method i use as soon as i get my thumbnail into here and let's say i don't want to use that but instead i want to use this background wait there i am haha <laughs> there i am hello look it's a me if you want to change this to like a different kind of background right what you do is insert your image over there and then what you got to do is just take this this mask and just drop it on top and this effect you just copy it over and disable that boom you're welcome so just to continue running you through the options in this case you'll be able to have yourself over here with some text on the left here so let me enable text and you could just essentially move this to over here okay so within the text you have two options you can have option one which is just basically your standard uh, um, kind of text there are three options there's bold semi semi bold and medium and these are when you open it, it's probably going to say missing font so you just change the font to whatever you have installed but yeah option one option two here and essentially you'll just click in here so you'll say um plus sub thanks and we'll give a little kiss there so let's say you want to change the gradients on it you're just going to click onto this arrow over here it's going to show the fix double click on effect here's your gradients and you can pretty much disable that so you can just have standard you can say color overlay if you want to change it to a specific color like black or white if you want to disable the drop shadow you can disable the drop shadow so yeah you have a lot of customization over this in changing it to however you want to you can just colors you click on there so to change the gradient colors you click on gradient then you click on this here and you double click on here this color change this color to like whatever you want and then um, you can change this oh, you can change this color here as well to whatever you want and then you have like different color gradients i'm just going to click cancel over there so yeah or you can just untick all of these effects if you don't want any of them because you're totally like not cool anymore let's move on to some of the elements that i have i have a whole bunch of logos for you for free cut out add a drop shadows you have an arrow you have another arrow you got another arrow and you got another arrow you're welcome all right so you've got the thumbnails down what is your next step well in my opinion your next step is to go make a standout profile photo for your youtube channel so here's a tutorial on how to make a standout profile photo with a free download template that you can use as well just like this that's fully customizable so yeah i'll see you guys in that video peace